，新加坡的男人啊，哎，男人们没有一个想让我们打扮的。哎、新加坡的男生一大特色，每一个人都都油头。Sloppy dressing and oily faces. These are the terms that Taiwanese variety show host Pauline Lan used to describe Singaporean men at a press conference here in April. Are all men really that bad? Razor TV speaks to the editor of FashionNight.com, a high fashion blog which has chalked up over 16,000 likes on its Facebook page, to find out what his take is on our local men. So Stanley, are Singaporean men really sloppy in their dressing? I guess to a certain extent, there's some truth in it. We do have to put in a bit more effort when it comes to how we coordinate our whole look and it has to be well thought out. For yourself, how would you rate your fashion sense? I guess I would perhaps humbly say a B plus. Yeah. Singaporean men out there? For general Singaporean men? Singaporean men, I guess maybe a C plus. Yeah. But I guess we could really do better in terms of our dressing. I mean, after all, the Orchard Road is our prime shopping district. It's where a lot of tourists will come by to shop. And I think we should give our best look, put our best foot forward and give, give, let the tourists see our, our well-dressed side, our fashion culture in Singapore. Stanley and I head out to Orchard Road to see for ourselves just how Singaporean men dress. Stanley also dished out some fashion advice. Uh, I think your outfit is, is casual, but perhaps you could opt for a bit slightly loose fitting skinny jeans. Maybe you could play around with having accessories, maybe like a hat. Yeah, that would be quite interesting. I think the whole styling is a bit confused. It's a bit more for a bit tribal and too much. There's a lot of colors on his shorts, and he was wearing a green shirt. So if he would want to wear boots, perhaps he would opt for a brown pair of jeans, and maybe a simple white shirt. Then he can go for that a bit more cowboyish kind of look. Perhaps it's a little too tight, but I'm not too sure whether it's because of the sweating. That's why it sticks to the body, and also maybe the length of the, the pants. Usually for high fashion right now, it's quite trendy to have the, 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 the pants to end a bit shorter than it is. And also with having your pants ending a bit shorter, you could play around with your socks. Because some men, they like to wear colourful socks and it can show a bit of your socks if your pants is a bit not too long. No. So it's, it's quite high fashion right now to have the pants ending around the ankles area. Actually, if you are not using your jacket, you should put it in your bag. And maybe get a better shirt that is not horizontal line, a vertical line. Why, 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 why a horizontal line is not flattering I guess it will, make you, it will make you look a bit bigger in size. Or for better footwear. Let's say if you have, yeah, you have not cut your hair, you have not made up your hair, you could actually wear a hat to, to cover up your hair so that People will not be able to see your yeah, t-shirts that with very loud prints because you draw attention to your figure. I think fashion is about drawing the attention to where you want people to look at. So and having that right balance, you don't want to be too loud. Neither do you want to draw attention to the wrong areas of your body. So what about that tote bag he was carrying that, that looks like you know those reusable? I guess it's fine if you are walking around the hard lands. First, you go opt for a, a more structured bag, a bag that perhaps that is leather, made leather bag, or perhaps maybe a, a, a proper handbag instead of a reusable tote bag. Stay tuned to our next clip where both men and women defend our Singaporean men against Pauline Lan's comments.